good to go. So I had <laughs> a technical difficulty getting to this point, um, <laughs> and I had to change the link for this video, but hopefully whoever wanted to find this stream is able to find it. I'm just going to test my mic as usual. Okay, <laughs> we're good. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm sorry that I didn't announce this ahead of time. I usually give a few days before I announce a live stream. And it's the first time I think I've ever streamed on a weekend or one of the few times I've streamed on the weekend. So this is new for me. <laughs> and yeah, so today we're going to be talking about the Tokyo Revengers Tamagotchi collaboration, uh, also known as the, I think it was called the Torevechi. And yeah, so this is an interesting one for me personally, because I have enjoyed many of the animes that Tamagotchi has done a collaboration with. And, you know, <laughs> Spy Family, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu Kaisen. I think I went back and rewatched Evangelion because the Tamagotchi was being released. Yeah, all of those are just like really, like in my eyes, really top tier, fantastic anime. So when this was announced, I was surprised because I'd never heard of this anime. Not that I watch a ton of anime, but I do enjoy it. And I was surprised to see something I didn't recognize. And it also just didn't really look that appealing, I guess. And yeah, but <laughs> I decided to give it a chance. Oh, hey, Smitty and hey, Michi. Good to see you guys. So... I, when this initially was released, which was sometime last year, I don't really remember when, I decided to skip out on it. I was like, I don't know this anime. Maybe if I watch it someday, I will buy the Tamagotchi because all of the, um, let me get, I'll, I'll go ahead and jump into the box, I guess. So <laughs> this is the box for the Tokyo Revengers. Tamagotchi. This is the Draken. Draken? Is that how you say his name? Uh, shell. And as you can see here, it comes with a little figure which can hold your nano Tamagotchi. And this is all the different shell variants that came with the Hug My Tamagotchi version. So all the cute shells only came with the Hug My Tamagotchi version, and because it has an extra figurine included in the set, they're usually a bit more expensive. So I think when this initially was announced on Amazon US, it cost around like $45. And the shell that was available as the Tamagotchi only was really boring, and I decided I didn't want to get that. I would rather have one of the special shells that have a nicer design on them. As you can see here, each character comes with their own unique shell design, which I think they're pretty cute. And yeah, so basically, I wasn't sure if I was ever gonna buy this thing because the price point was kind of hefty for something I wasn't really interested in. And then <laughs> late last year, I think it was December, so like a month ago, these went on sale. Uh, I think this one was about $18, which is pretty good considering normally they're like 45. So I bought it. <laughs> and while I waited for it to arrive, I started watching the anime. And I was, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say now. 
like, I was, I kind of like the, the whole premise I was kind of interested in, you know, a gang type situation in Tokyo and, you know, the characters looked somewhat appealing. And then I started it and I had a very open mind. I was like, you know, all of these amazing animes have Tamagotchi collaborations and it has to be pretty popular to get a collaboration like this. And I just heard it was very popular in general. So I, <laughs> I had a very, very open mind, very excited to watch this show. And I was like, maybe this will be one of my new favorite animes or just an anime that I enjoy. I don't know, right? So I start watching it. It's kind of like bland, but I was like, okay, you know, maybe as, you know, time goes on and the storyline builds more and the situations become more intense, like they're gonna, you know, it's gonna become more exciting. And it just didn't. <laughs> And I, okay, so I watched the dub, which I do not recommend at all. I think if I'm going to continue watching this show, I will try it, like the sub version and not the dub, because I think a lot of cultural context is lost in the translation. And that happens a lot with anime. That's not surprising. And I knew that going into this. However, I think the voice acting is a little bit goofy in English, and so I'm on like episode 17, I think, which that's a lot of hours of my life gone. <laughs> uh, and I just, I don't know, man. I, psh, I, I don't like bashing on stuff that people really like. I know that the title of this stream is a little bit inflammatory, for those who enjoy this show, and I'm sorry, but I really don't like it. I just, I cannot get into it. I think if I watch the sub, it might be a little bit better, but the the style is so bland. The storytelling is very questionable. Some of the dramatic scenes are like drawn out way too long. Like they should have been way shorter. And before I made this video, I took a peek at the manga just to see what it's like because I know sometimes an anime adaptation of a manga isn't always like super great. And <laughs> so I took a peek at the manga and it looked, honestly, it looked more appealing than the anime. I don't think I'm going to read it because I'm just not going to read it. No, I'm not. <laughs> but like, the style was a little bit more edgy. The, like the, the line work was kind of like dark and very intentional. And it just had a lot more soul in it. But the anime, it, was, it just feels like washed out, very boring. Like, yeah. And even like the fight scenes, which are like the most exciting part, they're so unimaginative. There's no use of color. There's no use of lighting changes. <laughs> I mean, if there is, it's very minimal. There's no, there's just no depth to it at all in terms of visual storytelling, which is my main, the reason I love animation is because you can do so much with it. And they just did the least, like they totally did the least. And it's so tasteless. It's just, oh, it's so, I can't, every time I watch it, I feel like I'm losing years off my life that I just, oh my God. So, ah. <sighs> I guess I've torn into it for like nine minutes now. <laughs> uh, let me think. I just, I just can't, when I compare it in my mind to say like spy family, I know they're totally different concepts, totally different, you know, Tokyo Avengers is like based on a gang. It's supposed to be very intense and dark and blah, blah, blah. But then spy families like slice of life adventure type there's just so much more depth to spy family which is a very simple concept and it's very easy to watch and very palatable but tokyo revengers it just felt like i was watching nothing like i'm just watching fluff and there's so many moments where they're just using dialogue to build the story nothing's happening <laughs> and they just 
use dialogue like it's two characters talking and you know their facial expressions are changing and you see their and you can hear their thoughts sometimes but there's just so much of that and i just i can hear the main character's voice in my mind the oh god the dub oh <laughs> it's just not it's just not my cup of tea oh my god it is not and you know if it's yours that's great um <laughs> But it is not, it, it, it ain't for me, babe. It is not my thing. So for those of you who have not watched the anime and are just here for the Tamagotchi unboxing, I'll go ahead and give you a brief synopsis of what the show is about. I think, I thought I had something pulled up. Um... Uh, here's a quote from an article I found that was like singing its praises. Does a captive oh, oh my god, I cannot read today. Does a captivatingly blended sci-fi gangster-fueled action story grab your attention? Yeah, it does. Actually, I was actually excited to watch this show. So that was, you know. But honestly, when I read that article, I don't think they actually watched the show. Tokyo Revengers. Okay, this is the brief Google synopsis. Takemichi Hanagaki, who has been working one job after another, learns that his ex-girlfriend from high school, Hinata Tachibana, has been killed. After an incident, he wakes up 12 years ago and tries to save her and take his revenge on, on life. Take his revenge on life. Yeah, so basically it's like it frames around this like boring... 26 year old guy who used to be in gangs in high school and then he finds out his high school girlfriend died there's like a weird montage in the beginning about how he's a virgin and he has like naughty calendars all over his room i don't know it was very like um uh <laughs> it was very borderline incel vibes i don't know but yeah so this guy is like, you know, not satisfied with life. He gets a chance to go back and change things and save his girlfriend. And the whole plot is kind of dependent on this time travel thing, which also I'm not a big fan of. If time travel is done well and is briefly mentioned, I'm okay with it. But the entire plot is just him trying to fix the past so that his girlfriend doesn't die and it keeps failing <laughs> in one way or another and then he has to go back to the past to fix it and that's just so messy and it hurts my brain and I don't want to think about it anymore and I doubt I'll ever finish this show and <sighs> that's it I will say I will say I occasionally like the look of these edgy blonde boys with really thick eyeliner. I think that looks really nice sometimes. And I could see why maybe like a 13 and 15 year old girl would like this show because it's like edgy enough to be edgy, but it's not really scary. And there's a lot of like, you know, cute boys. But even I was like, would I have liked this when I was younger? And I, I don't think I would have. I truly don't. And that says something, <laughs> that younger me can't even appreciate this show. So with that being said, let's get into the Tamagotchi, which I'm actually excited about. I think it's maybe going to be bland in terms of um, gameplay and, excuse me, in terms of gameplay and content and character variations i think it'll be a little bit bland but at least at least i gave the anime a shot so that i could understand what's happening and recognize some of the characters and <laughs> and this guy is really cute i actually he's one of my favorite character designs i'm glad it was one of the cheaper options i don't really know what the references are on this shell well i know that the top part is like his dragon tattoo on the side of his head but yeah let's go ahead and open it 
yeah, I just, I hope, <laughs> I hope this isn't as bad as the anime. Okay, so there is the Tamagotchi itself. I might have to open this off camera because I, maybe not, I don't know. So this is interesting because I have the Megumi Jujutsu Kaisen Hug My Tamagotchi figure and it came in the original Tamagotchi Nano packaging, but since these were never sold separately, I guess they just decided not to give it its own packaging, which is kind of a shame, but also I don't really mind. <laughs> so let's pull that out. Michi says, OMG, so pretty. I know, it is so pretty. It's very, very nice. I'm excited, and I hope my lighting... Nano screens are always horrible to light well, so maybe if I adjust this way a little bit it might be better but yeah hopefully you guys will be able to see the screen let me test it with my demon slayer really quick okay that's that's pretty good so i think we'll be fine <laughs> smitty said i don't know why the screen has to be down a bottomless pit i know they have these huge gaps and i don't understand it but yeah so let's unbox the figure now i want to show the actual i can't really move my camera okay okay i hope i don't need i'm gonna do this part <gasps> look at his little face <gasps> oh my god he's actually really cute okay okay so I think I can do this without scissors. I think. Maybe not. <laughs> it's just like taped in there and then it's inside a plastic bag. Oh my God, he's so cute. <gasps> oh my God, he's adorable. Okay. There he is in his little bag. There's a little tattoo, okay. bald head and his little braid oh my god why am i living for this right now <laughs> oh my god he's actually so cute oh my god he's adorable and he's so chunky look how chunky and his little belly oh my god this is actually really nice okay i'm very i'm pleasantly surprised by this look how cute and the details are really nice, like the little dragon tattoo, the earrings, the eyebrows are nice. Yeah, Bandai's really good at figures, so I'm not surprised. And then his little arms will move up and down. <laughs> oh, they're kind of stiff. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So we can move his arms up or down to hold our Tamagotchi Nano. So... Let me unbox the rest of this. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I thought I needed scissors, but I don't. So here it is. Why is there dust on it? Ah! <laughs> no. Oh my God. One thing I've noticed about nanos is that they're so rounded that they just slip right out of your hands. So. Let's get into the details of the shell now. My camera will focus, okay. So we have this little teddy bear. I think that's a reference to one of Draken's scenes that I'm not aware of because I haven't gotten far, than, uh, far enough into the series. But yeah, it's like, you know, a dark pink shell. I think it looks more light pink in uh, through the camera, but it's kind of more maybe a medium pink, maybe not a dark pink. And then the details around the bottom near the buttons are kind of like a light lilac or lavender color, which is nice. So yeah, this is really, this was very thoughtful and <laughs> very well designed. And it says Tokyo Avengers on the bottom. So I really like it a lot, I think. Again, I'm not very attached to 
the anime that this is based off of, so I'm not, like, you know, losing my shit right now. But it's good. I like it. <laughs> and, uh... Dudicus said, what the heck, this Hug My Tamagotchi character is cute. I'm not sure if you're being sarcastic, like you're saying, oh my god, you think that's cute, but it's actually hideous, but I think it's really cute. It's so cute. And like, the metallic paint on the buttons and stuff, that's very, very nice. So, for $18, I got this cute blonde boy figure and this Tamagotchi Nano, so... I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Hopefully the screen will cooperate. Okay, so as usual, we need to set the time. And I don't... It's like two... Something. Okay, the buttons are nice and responsive. And the beeping sound sounds slightly lower. Maybe. I don't know if you guys think the same, but... Yeah, it's 2.30, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, is that a gun? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, CD, DVD. He's working at the store. Okay, that's his boss nagging him, I think. Okay. Interesting. So, I wonder if with the other animations we're going to see a different kind of startup because it doesn't really show the character going into the past. This form, I think he's the main character and he is in the future where he's 26 years old and kind of a loser. So it was kind of interesting to see that. I thought it would be like showing the rest of the gang or something, but okay. Okay, so we have food and games. It's a motorcycle, that's cute. Oh God, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna eat it. <laughs> I don't even remember them eating. Oh wait, is that like, maybe that's like Mikey, one of the other characters, he gets like a kid plate at one of the restaurants. Maybe that's it. They don't really eat a lot in this show. They're mostly just talking and then fighting other gang members. <laughs> okay, and then the snack looks like takoyaki. I think that's what that's called. That's cute. I don't know if I've seen anybody eat that either, but again, I... <laughs> got to episode 17 of season one, so I am not an expert in this show. But yeah, I'm gonna give him snacks, and then we're gonna see the close-up, okay. So I've noticed something interesting with some of the anime nanos. Sometimes, instead of like a chibi style close-up like this one, they will do like an actual anime style close-up like on the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero Tamagotchi Nano if you hit the close-up button for Yuta it will be kind of like him in a more anime style smiling instead of him as a chibi up close and I like the chibi up close thing but I think that the anime up close thing is also very nice so this one is fine. <laughs> it's a little goofy. I think that's supposed to be him. Okay, hold on. Before I spread in misinformation, let me just double check and make sure this character is who I think it is. Can it? Okay. You can't hold it yet. You're not ready. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go to the Tamagotchi Wikipedia page. Okay, characters, characters, yeah, so, oh, oh, okay, so 
this guy, it is Takemichi, and I was correct. <laughs> and it says he'll evolve after three hours, which is interesting. Normally, nanos will take 24 hours to evolve, so interesting. And then you can have him evolve into his younger form. He can evolve into Mikey, Draken, and then all these other characters that I do not know the names of. Lord help me. Wow, it has a really big roster. Really big. Like, it kind of annoys me. <laughs> and then you can get variant versions. You can get, like, cool Takemichi. You can get another version of Mikey. You can get another version of Draken. Another version of Takemichi? I don't know. There's a lot. This is very... Wow. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, it would take a long time to get, like, finish, quote-unquote, the roster for this Tamagotchi. And it kind of makes me sad because, like, the Jujutsu Kaisen Zero Tamagotchi doesn't have nearly as many characters. And it's way better of an anime than this show. <laughs> yeah. But, um... So let's see what chat is saying. Oh, okay. Dudika said the snack looks like taiyaki. What's takoyaki? Takoyaki is the little balls with the sweet. Okay, yeah. And then what is the fish pastry called? I think uh, fish pastry. Uh... Taiyaki, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're right. I'm dumb. I've, e I've eaten that like a bunch of times and I don't know what it's called. And uh, yeah, so Jordan said, how come we haven't seen Jojo or Chainsaw Man devices like this? I don't know. I think Jojo would be a really good option. I haven't watched all of that. Admittedly, I've watched like maybe five episodes, but it was top tier in my opinion very very good i mean the animation alone was just fantastic so i think that would be a great <laughs> tamagotchi nano and chainsaw man i have not watched it all but i've heard very very good things about it honestly i'm surprised that we didn't get one of those either um but i think it might have something to do with Bandai slowing the production of Tamagotchi Nanos in general. Maybe the past few generations of Tamagotchi Nano haven't performed very well. I mean, this guy, this is supposed to be a very popular show, but the, the Tamagotchi Hug My Tamagotchi set is very much on sale right now, or it was a month ago. And I don't know if that's a good, I think that's a bad sign for, <laughs> for Tamagotchi Nanos maybe. And, but if I remember correctly, the Jujutsu Kaisen Hug My Tamagotchi sets also were very much on sale, like sometime last year maybe. And then recently, if you Google the Gojo Hug My Tamagotchi set, <laughs> It, it like will sell for like 120 bucks, which is crazy. This, this, this is like two steps above a McDonald's toy. No offense, Bandai, it's very well done, but the way it feels, it's very hollow. I mean, it, the head doesn't really squeeze. Okay, it, okay, I take that back. It's not a McDonald's toy. That was mean, <laughs> but it's not worth $120. No freaking way. No way. I think it's a very nice, a very nice figure. It's very cute, whatever, but it's not worth $120. And yeah, so who knows? Oh, Light Buddha Mike, nice username. I like that. <laughs> Said it looks like the figure can hold it like a stand. Yes, it can. And I actually haven't shown that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and show it now. And it's actually a little tricky to get it in there. Do you do it like this? I think you have to like... Uh, why isn't this working? Oh. What's wrong with you? Eh. 
Okay, I have to do this off camera. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it seems like it should be easier than it is. I'll just say that. But it does take some wiggling. And this one seems to be more difficult than my Megumi figure that does this. My Megumi is on my desk, sitting very nicely. So why can't you? Why can't we be friends? Please, <laughs> please. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get, but there you go. It doesn't feel secure, <laughs> which is scary, but it would, it would sit nicely and not go anywhere. That's so cute. I love this. I am all about this. This is going to sit on my desk. I was very much considering not having it sit on my desk because it's very... <sighs> What's the right word? Interesting? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's eccentric? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but it is a bit oddball looking and all that. But for me, I think it's very, very cute and very pleasant to look at. And yeah, so that's how it looks when it's holding the Tamagotchi in its little tiny fingers. That's so funny. Jordan said they also should have done a spy family set like this. Dude! That would sell like hotcakes. Tiny, itty bitty Lloyd Forger, your Forger, Anya. Oh my God, people would love those. I don't know why they chose this anime. I mean, it's like, you know, oh, cute boys. Girls like cute boys. Let's, I don't know. I understand why they chose this anime for this collaboration. Excuse me. Um, but at the same time, they could have done a Demon Slayer one. I mean, Demon Slayer, I think they the character designs are a little bit complex, but Bandai makes a lot of Demon Slayer figures. It wouldn't be that difficult. I'm just glad that these exist. I think they crack me up. They're so adorable. And what a funny idea. And, and kind of a brilliant idea. You get to have the little character from the show you like and the corresponding Tamagotchi Nano. I like that a lot. It was a very good idea. I hope they make more in the future, <laughs> but so we have not gotten into the games yet. I'm going to take a quick tea break. I'm drinking black tea today because I ran out of green tea, so hopefully I don't act like a crazy person. Light Buddha Mike said, <laughs> I would like the chopper set from One Piece. I'm a huge one Piece fan, Oda Sense is the best. I don't know what Oda Sense means. Um, but they did do, as far as I know, two different collaborations with the Tamagotchi brand. One was the Chopper Nano Tamagotchi, and the other was the One Piece Smart Card Tamagotchi. What am I saying? What? <laughs> uh, they made a One Piece themed card that you can plug into the Tamagotchi Smart and it will make your Tamagotchi characters look like One Piece characters, which is very, very cute and awesome. So it's nice, nice to see that. I wish that they would do other collaborations with anime like that. I think that would be really fun to do, but you know, everything we want, we never get in this hobby. <laughs> we get a lot, but there's always so much more that we want. Dudica said, I would 100% have bought a Spy Family Hug My Set. I know, I would too, dude. I would too. I would I would have bought all three. Well, no, I don't know. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> but I would have bought one. Probably, maybe Anya or Yor. Smitty said, I wish you could buy one virtual pet and make the sprites whatever you want. Yeah, that would be, <laughs> that would be crazy. Like a completely customizable virtual pet. That would be 
pretty sick, but honestly, people are kind of doing that with the Digimon color. I'm just waiting for somebody to take Tamagotchi sprites and put it on the digital monster color so that Tamagotchi characters can be in Digimon battles. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't seen somebody do that, but you know. Okay, so tea break is over. Let's look at the games. I'm going to go into the games blind first, and then we are going to see how they are played because I might <laughs> not know what I'm doing. And I wonder how many games there are. I heard with the Chopper Tamagotchi Nano that there's only two games, and that is very lame, and I don't like that. But I think this one has three at least. That's pretty typical of a Nano, Tamagotchi Nano, so... Is my lighting going to be better? Um, I think. Okay, that's pretty good. Not only, not only is the screen like very much indented, as you can see, but it's so shiny. So it's just so hard to photograph or uh, record or anything like that. Okay, we have a motorcycle game, we have a claw machine game, and a bowling game, and that's it. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's crying. Oh no, I crashed my motorcycle. Okay, but I think I know how to play that game, but I just did it wrong. So I think this is just like a dodging game where you have to dodge the obstacles. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Interesting. Okay. On the Anya Tamagotchi, if you keep hitting the same button, if you go all the way down from hitting the down direction button and then hit it one more time, it'll pop back to the top. But this one does not appear to do that. So I have to, <laughs> I have to readjust my strategy okay so down oh uh, oh no okay nice so that was you know another <laughs> recycled tamagotchi nano game in a different style, which is fine. Oh, cute. Ooh. This is a timing one. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, do I hit A or B? Oh no, I hit it too early. Okay, hold on. Nice. Oh my god, this is so funny cuz I love claw machines. Oh, I still lost. Okay, we'll do that one again. Hold on. <laughs> Smitty said that bear's face is creepy. I know. <laughs> but I guess this is like Draken's bear. I don't know. But I think like toy animals made into sprites always look weird. Like the Toy Story Nano, all of those sprites look really funky. <laughs> okay, so bowling, okay. I don't remember them bowling in the show. I don't think I got that far. Oh, oh, this is a button mash, okay. That's kind of boring. They could have done something else for this, but. Boring. Okay, so now that we've looked at the games, I'm going to read a little bit more about it on the Tamagotchi Wiki just to make sure I'm not missing anything interesting. Are you going to... Okay, so I think you kind of have to like push it. See how it slips out? So slippery. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me see what chat is saying really quick.
Okay, Smitty said, I thought about getting the Toy Story Nano, but half the characters I don't care about. Plus, it's weird that baby Woody grows into adult Buzz or Mr. Potato Head and whatnot. Yeah. It's kind of a... It's not a bad concept for a virtual pet, but I wish it had been executed differently. Okay, so we're going to look at the... The page. Okay. So I'm on the Tamagotchi Wiki Torevechi page. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, birth and growth. After setting the clock, a cutscene will play of Takemichi Hanagaki watching TV and learning of the Tokyo Manji gang murders. Oh, okay. So that's what was happening. After 24 hours, he will evolve into a new character based on care quality. Okay, so on the guide, like with the characters on this page, it said three hours, but now it's saying 24. So I guess I'm just going to have to find out. <laughs> Let's see. This is all very... Okay, delinquent invasion. Throughout the day at regular int intervals... Delinquents will appear on screen to attack the character. The user must press the A button to have the character punch the delinquent and make them run away. Oh my god, I really hope it shows my character punching or like a fist or something. I really, I, I, that would make my life so much better <laughs> if I'm being honest. It would make my $18 wor very well spent and very much worth it. So the delinquent will gradually take over the screen the longer the user takes to respond and failing to respond entirely will cause the character to become depressed okay that's pretty typical of nanos or anime nanos okay departure the character does not die and will stay as long as the user takes good care of them if the user fails to fill the hungry and happy meters or fails blah 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 blah, blah character will become depressed Portraying them lying in a futon with a skull above their head. Okay, so that's pretty normal. I thought, I don't know. I was like, do we just get transported back to the present or the past if we, you know, I don't know. Okay. So that's very, very, very basic Tamagotchi Nano stuff. Okay, wait. So... Repeated instances of the character becoming depressed or failure to encourage them after an extended period of time will, will result in the character running away and the discarded school jacket appearing on screen. Okay, so I guess you like quit the gang and, you know, so your character can die or quit the gang. Got it. Oh my god, I'm looking at the promo material for this release and they have uh, an image of Draken and Mikey holding their tiny Tamagotchis. That's kind of cute. So, yeah, I just... It seems like this was, like, a big... A big deal for the... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This show doesn't make any sense to me, but so far I like this release. It's not that bad. It's cute. So, I what I'm curious about now is how are there so many characters? Because usually Tamagotchi Nanos, the growth cycle is like you start with a basic character or a baby. And then you evolve into a, an adult in 24 hours. And then from there, it's po sometimes it's possible to get a secret character animation, uh, a secret character evolution, but sometimes it's not. So usually, at most, there are three stages of evolution on a Tamagotchi Nano. But since there's so many characters, I'm wondering if there's like further stages of growth. So let me have a look. Okay, um, <clears throat> so, wow, there's so many characters. So, there are secret evolutions, 
So there's like basic Tokyo Manji gang characters, and then there's secret evolutions from those characters. And then there's also like different gangs have <laughs> different, yeah, different gangs have characters available as well, but I'm wondering if you can just get those immediately from raising this character or maybe, I don't know, I have no idea. And the problem with Tamagotchi Nanos is that when you run them, it's fun, it's exciting, whatever, but if you want a certain character, there's so many Tamagotchi Nanos and there's not always a lot of information out there and nobody has made concrete guides of like any of them. It's always like, oh, average care here, three games over here, feed only snacks, you know, stuff like that. So that's annoying. <laughs> and I honestly, I just want to get this Draken guy so he can match my character, I guess. But yeah, let's see what his requirements are based on this guide. So it says evolve into a Takemichi. So I have to evolve into Takemichi? But what? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. It looks like with some of the character evolutions, you can evolve after you get 2005 Takemichi. So you can start off with this guy, which is the present day Takemichi, have him evolve into 2005 Takemichi, and then he can evolve after that. So what I'm looking at now is a description of all the characters. It's not really like a growth chart. So <laughs> this growth chart is actually pretty complex. So they put a lot of work into this, and I just don't understand why, because like I said, this is not my favorite anime, to say the least. So yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see what chat is up to right now. Agent Leprechaun? <laughs> Agent Leprechaun said, it might just be there's a lot of randomness to what it evolves into. I've been raising nanos for a little while now, and I think there has to be some randomness. I agree that that's a possibility. However, I also feel like so little is known about them and so little has been documented in some cases that, yeah, I just don't think we have enough data to say that, matter of fact, there's a random element because it's unusual to have that in a Tamagotchi gameplay. Normally, the gameplay is set up, oh, you meet these requirements, this you get this outcome. So, I don't know. That's a good point. <clears throat> Dudicus said, I haven't been able to find guides for the Grogu Nano or Jurassic Park Nano. They should be on the Tamagotchi Wiki. And... When I used them, they were pretty accurate, at least for the Grogu one. I think for the Jurassic Park Nano, I just went in blind, but yeah. So I want to get Draken <laughs> or Ken or whatever his name is. And it says evolve into Takemichi. So I'm just going <laughs> to... We played three games already. Let's see if he's hungry. No. Oh, that's cute. You can't really play while you're holding it in this thing. So I think I'm just going to be very basic. Maybe I'll play the games again just to show you guys again in case anybody missed it. And, oops. And, uh 
I don't know, maybe it will help get to get Takemichi 2005. So let's go ahead and do that. But I have a feeling like a lot of the times if you play certain games, you'll get certain characters. So this is a motorcycle ga game and Mikey in the show is very much into motorcycles. <laughs> and oh, oh, a cutscene. Ooh, who is that? Oh, Lord, I have no idea. Mm -mm. I have no idea who these people are. And there's so many characters in the show, like tons and tons and tons. Oh, my God, I have no idea who this is. Okay. What happens if we... Yeah, I don't... Bro, I don't know who you are. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even think I got that far. Oh, my God. But, yeah, so... A lot of times with nanos... Like I said, games that reflect what the character did in the anime will lead you to get those characters. For example, this is one of the Demon Slayer Nanos. And uh, <laughs> I have Sumiko, which is one of my favorite all-time characters on any Tamagotchi release ever. Because it is Tanjiro in drag. And <laughs> and to get Tanjiro, initially I had to play this game, which is like carrying stuff. And I believe in the show, he carried a lot of... It sh at one point, it shows him doing work around the house and carrying a lot of packages, I think, if I remember correctly. So this game was the game that corresponded with his character. And... After playing it, I think, 10 or 15 times, he evolved into Tanjiro. And then from there, I think it's like 10 perfect games of each game to get Sumiko. So I'm wondering if the Torevechi also has something similar. Also, that game looks kind of glitchy. Like, it doesn't normally show all the... I don't know how to explain that, but it just looked kind of different. El Michi said, OMG, I've been translating the crosswords on the Tamasuku with the help of a friend. Dude. Okay. I'm going to do you a big favor right now. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure somebody already did that. And I'm going to tell you how to find them. <laughs> so I follow... I follow this person on Tumblr called Curlor. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly or incorrectly, but, you know, so they have a website where they did a lot of work with the Ketai and the Akai Tamagotchi connections or Tamagotchi Plus, and they basically figured all the gameplay out to a T so you can get whatever character you want, and they also translated the Tamasuku crosswords. So let me get you the link for that. I can't really share it with you, but I can tell you what it is. <laughs> so, and also they are bilingual. So I think they have it in English and Spanish. So that's cool. So yeah, the basic website is curlor.neocities.org. And to spell that, it is C-U-L-O-U-R dot N-E-O-C-I-T-I-E-S dot org. And from there, you can click, if you want it in Spanish or English, view sign in English, you click Tamagotchi, and it will show you their Ketai Katsu Tamagotchi Plus guide or the Tamagotchi School crosswords. And I think that's the entire thing. Isn't that crazy? Like, who did this? I mean, obviously, Curlor did it, but, like, how can you do that? It's amazing. So, hopefully, Michi, I hope you're still here. <laughs> 
And I hope that you heard what I said. If you need me to repeat it again, let me know in chat. But basically somebody already did all the translations for the crosswords. And I just, it's crazy that you brought that up because I literally found this like two days ago. So it's very like serendipitous that <laughs> you were thinking of doing that. But some, you know, I found it somehow. So yeah, that was like my little... That was a little tangent we just went on together. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna have another, I'm gonna have another sip of my tea. And thank you guys for being here. This has been a lot of fun. I'm probably gonna wrap things up in like 10 to 15 minutes, let's say. Mm. Michi said, I translated 20 words already. At least it didn't take much of my time. Yeah, because <laughs> that's like a pain in the butt. But it's really cool to see this because as somebody who speaks English and has played the Tamasukus and not known how to play the game, it's pretty cool that you can play it now, even though it's still confusing. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. And actually, it's kind of a cute thing if somebody's learning how to speak Japanese. It might be a fun game for them to play. But, yeah. Mm. A gentle leprechaun said, or not a gentle leprechaun. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Agent leprechaun. <laughs> the word gentle's in there, so my brain <laughs> corrected it. Uh... Agent Leprechaun said, what is a Tamasuku? I'm not super plugged into the community. So a Tamasuku is, how do you explain it? It's like a Tamagotchi device that is a collecting game where you play the teacher and you have to play games in order to raise points in different areas, like different subjects in school. And then as you raise the points in each of those subjects, more students will come and join your class. And the object of the game is to collect all the students that you can. And that's basically it. And uh, the Tamasuku is actually really cool because you can send money that you earn from playing the games to the Uratama, Entama, and Keitai. I think Akai as well. But yeah, you can send points earned from the Tamasuku to other Tamagotchi models, which is pretty sweet. Oh yeah, and, and Michi brings up a good point. You can also, if you raise an, a character on one of your Tamagotchis and you connect with the Tamasuku, that character will show up in your class. So overall, it's really fun. And I, <laughs> I'm kind of having... FOMO right now because I recently sold one of mine and I don't that was the only one I had so recently yeah but yeah I'm I'm trying to think what else we can do with this guy I think we've exhausted <laughs> all of the gameplay for the most part I kind of want to see another cutscene but I don't know if we will see another one while I am streaming so Agent Leprechaun said, FOMO has stolen so much of my money since I got into virtual pets. Yeah, that's the problem with the hobby is that you see other people playing something and you're like, oh, that looks so cool. And you spend a lot of time and effort tracking it down. You spend some money on it and then you either really like it or not. <laughs> and yeah, I think some people just enjoy the collecting part. But for me, it's always disappointing when I put effort into finding something and then... I don't like it, you know, but yeah, so hopefully we can get a, can you focus please, please, there we go, hopefully we can see another cutscene, I don't have much to show you guys today, I can show you what virtual pets I'm running, let's see, Um, this is a modded Tamagotchi Akai. I, 
I hate saying that word. It doesn't feel right when I say it. But normally the screen has red pixels, but as you can see, they're black. And I was able to do this by swapping the screens out with a K tie. And unfortunately, the screen is a little bit dark, which is a shame. But in person, it looks better than it does on camera right now. But we have Debachi. And she made a mess. <laughs> and I got her from using Curlor's guide. Please focus. <laughs> and uh, she's been, oh, she's a bit hungry. So I love the Akai and Keitai because <laughs> the adults can drink. So this is wine. Oh, okay, there we go. I have to hold at this weird angle. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, can I, can I spell their name again? Michi's, okay. Yeah, Michi, the name of the website was Curlor, C-U-R-L-O-U-R dot Neocities, N-E-O-C-I-T-I-E-S dot org. Yeah, so I, I'll, I'll share the link to their page in the description of this stream later on if you can't find it because I really love their page but yeah <laughs> Smitty said why does that make me think of a racist Chinese caricature I don't know man I don't think that's what it's supposed to be <laughs> but yeah this is wine and they'll drink the wine and then they'll get drunk <laughs> And, and it makes them happy. I always thought that the drinking items wouldn't make actually fill their happiness, but they do. <laughs> so, <laughs> Agent Leprechaun said, finally, a Tamagotchi just like me. <laughs> right? Let's see. Are you still unhappy? Okay, you need one more drink? Girl, I got you. So, the K-Tai has two items that... You can uh, drink, I guess. And I think the this is the Akai, so I think it does as well, but I haven't found it yet, so yeah. But yeah, she's five years old. I don't speak Japanese, so I put random characters for her name. And that's pretty much it for this one. Let's see what animation she's going to do. <laughs> let's do another one yeah i like the no not that one. Oh, oh, dang it she was gonna do it the kissing one i don't want the spinning one there we go <laughs> but uh yeah i this is one of my favorite tamagotchi versions for sure. I really hope that they, if they do connection, what am I saying? If they re-release the plus and connection versions, I really hope they do this one as well because it's just really good. So also I hope with the re-releases that they give us new shell designs because I know I've noticed there a pattern with the Japanese re-releases where they just give you the same shells <laughs> that they released before which is fine it's great i like it it's nostalgic i get i understand but i love seeing new shell designs so yep that's pretty much it for this one <laughs> smitty said of course drinking makes you happy just like real life <laughs> so this is what i'm running oh it's in the fridge okay the freezer. So I'm running the Digimon X1 for the hatch going on in the Discord right now. I have Tobu Catmon and I'm hopefully going to get, um, who am I? Oh, Where Guru Mon X is who I'm going for. And then after that, hopefully I'll be able to get Metal 
Discovery Room on X. Oh god, I need to watch it in person and not through the camera. That was bad. <laughs> but I want to show you the close-up. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going for Omega Mon X. Agent Leprechaun. Dude, I'm fumbling over your name so bad because it looks like it says a gentle leprechaun in my head. I'm so sorry. Agent Leprechaun <laughs> says custom shell. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, this is actually a custom shell. I made this, kind of. <laughs> this is originally the glow-in-the-dark DM20 shell, and then I painted this blue X on it and then I swap the buttons out. So yeah, this is a custom shell. Thank you for noticing. Oh, and Michi said that shell is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I really like this one. It's been a long time since I ran it, so. Smitty said, putting Tobu Catmon on any V-Pet, let alone an X one offends me. Why? I like Tobu Catmon. I think they're really funny. <laughs> like the X one, especially this is the XB, I think. The XB has the craziest roster in the whole freaking virtual pet series or uh, you know you know what i'm saying the roster is just insane it has a nun with a pitchfork it has tobu catmon which is like a cat with racing flags on its behind or something <laughs> I don't know. And then there's other, I can't think of the rest of it right now, but it's just very weird, very Digimon coded weirdness happening, but I dig it. But I think that's all I have for you guys today. Not running anything exciting. I'm excited about putting this little guy on my desk because he's freaking adorable. His little tiny feet. I'm I'm really glad I got this one instead of the BTS hug my Tamagotchi because I don't really like BTS. I I like I still need to run the tiny tan Tamagotchi. I really like the concept of raising tiny virtual boys. I think that's really cute. But this guy just looks so edgy and funky and I am here for it. So I'm glad that I got this one instead of the Tiny Tan Hug My version. Oh yeah, Smitty said Choho Kaimon is on the X1. I That's another one, which is amazing. I love Choho Kaimon. It's so funny, dude. It's just like some little girl dressed up in a giant pig costume. It's so weird. <laughs> Smitty said, I like any Digimon that looks like Gigapet, such as Geckomon. Dude, Geckomon, I literally have almost sold my Nature Spirits uh, Pendulum original so many times because I'm just not that into the roster, but I can't because Geckomon is so cute. <laughs> Agent Leprechaun said, did you end up ordering all the pen pendulum colors? I haven't caught any lives, so I don't know if you've talked about it. Yeah, so I think I've mentioned it before, but I did order all the pendulum colors. I'm very, very excited. And I'm just, I really hope I like them more than the digi digital monster colors. Because <clears throat> <laughs> I just, I haven't really connected with that. And I, I want to give it another go. I think like... Once the run I'm doing now dies down, like, I'm not running the Akai, I'm not running the X1, I'm gonna bust out the digital monster color and just give it another go <laughs> before the pendulum color comes out. Because I feel like if I really like the pendulum color, I might not give the digital monster color a chance. So I don't really want to do that. Destiny, what's up? Oh my god. Destiny said you're streaming when I'm actually awake. What have I missed? LOL. Oh my god, dude. I'm about to get off, but I'm glad that you <laughs> I'm glad that you hopped on, but I'll go ahead and show you. We were just talking about the Tokyo Revengers hug my Tamagotchi guy and the yeah, the gameplay on this guy. You know, it's very you didn't miss much, but 
just FYI for all you guys, um, I don't delete my streams. So <laughs> if you ever miss something, I usually put chapters in the description so you can like jump around and see what you missed. But yeah, uh, so far this is a very basic nano. There's a lot of different characters. Like the, the, the roster is freaking huge for this guy. So I'm excited <laughs> to see where this goes, but yeah, it's, you know, this guy's pretty cute and very funky looking, and the Tamagotchi is a Tamagotchi. Oh, okay, interesting. One thing I didn't notice, and yeah, <laughs> sorry, I'm losing my train of thought because I've been on this for an hour, <laughs> but if you see here, there's a screw on the back of this, which I hate. I freaking hate it. Normally, Japanese nanos have the push button mechanism thing, but this one has a screw. Ew, I hate it. Because <laughs> these screws just, they're so, it's a weird shape. I hate them. But anyway, not the end of the world, but they have been doing that with the more recent Tamagotchi nanos because a lot of the Japanese versions are later being localized and Americans don't trust children around batteries unless there's like a screw involved. It might be a legality thing actually. So yeah, that was just a quick observation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Agent Leprechaun said, the colors are going to be my first pendulum, so I'm excited as well. Dude, the freaking pendulums are so good. I didn't used to believe that because I hate the shaking mechanic, but now I love them. They're so, I love the different themes. I love all the characters. I love Joe Gressing. Like, you're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> so that's exciting. Light Buddha Mike said, I got the natural spirit color pendulum ordered. Okay, nature spirits. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Not my, <clears throat> personally, not my favorite roster. Um, but all the pendulums are so good. It, honestly, it doesn't matter. Mm. <laughs> I'm lingering a bit because I am having fun. I don't want to leave yet. But I'm going to Google something really quick. The pendulum color. I can't remember if the Nature Spirits has the blue buttons or the gray or black buttons. So <clears throat> Digimon pendulum color. Okay, nice. So it has the blue buttons. I actually prefer that over the black and gray. So that's pretty sweet. I like, I really like the nature spirits with the blue buttons. That's very exciting. And I know some people were upset about the blue and orange pendulum color. Like they would have preferred the blue with the gray buttons or something, but I really like the blue and orange. I think it looks really cool, especially with the background and everything. I think it's going to be really nice. Also, it's going to be really funny having a pendulum shell and being able to swap the backgrounds because, <laughs> like, if you swapped the Deep Savers background into the Nightmare Soldiers shell and then you're raising, like, <laughs> monsters, like, you know, uh, kind of Halloween scary-themed Digimon with the ocean in the background, that's kind of funny to me. So that will be interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited for these. And the ad campaign got me good. Like the guys in the Speedos. <laughs> like if they didn't bring that back, it would have been so disappointing, but I, I wasn't really expecting it. It was so, it was such a nice surprise to see them bring back the advertisement. 
I, I guess it was probably well known in Japan because like that was even I know Japan commercials ugh, excuse me Japanese commercials can be a little bit weird sometimes anyway but I think that was weird even for Japan so <laughs> Michi said, I only got a 20th Digimon. I kind of want to get an X and make them fight. Dude, the X is the best. I would recommend the X2 over the X1, but the X2 or X1 is also very fun. Um, Yeah, so I'm fading now. <laughs> it is 3.33 p.m. and I think I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> so as usual, thank you guys so much for being here. This was so much fun. Really nice way to spend my Saturday afternoon unboxing this goofy little guy. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for talking about the pendulum color because I'm I'm so hype. I'm I love talking about it. <laughs> I'm very, very hype about that. So, hold on. I just saw something in chat. Smitty said, I saw a Japanese commercial for laundry detergent where a lady puts a black man into the washing machine. <gasps> I've seen that, dude. It's so messed up. <laughs> that one's crazy. Okay. I don't want to talk about it. That's that's bad. Um, but they need to chill for real. But anyway... Thank you for being here to talk about goofy virtual pets and anime things. I'm very happy to talk to you guys as always. And yeah, if, you, if you're if you just hopping on now, this stream will be available to watch after I'm done. So I don't delete any of my streams. And so if you feel like you missed something, don't worry, you can go back and watch it. And... I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend and until next time I will see you guys later and this guy is about to go on my desk so <laughs> all right I will see you guys later bye